I'm going to uh, do a tutorial on the new Givenchy um, 2012 Spring Cle uh, Makeup Collection and uh, I just want to demonstrate uh, these new um, Sigma um, performance brushes that I got in the mail today and uh, I just want to demonstrate um, the how these brushes work and I'll be using the Coastal Sands um, regular ADA color eyeshadow palette and this is the the first one that came out um, so yeah um, let's get on with it first apply an eyeshadow primer all over your eyelid as well as underneath your eyes then moisturize your lips with a lip balm I applied a white eyeliner as a base to help the color pop up more First, use a medium pink eyeshadow and trace an outline in your crease and this will help guide uh, with your eyeshadows because I'm going to separate um, the color and it will be a more of a cut crease look. Then use a shader brush dipped into a lighter pink eyeshadow and blend this on above that medium pink eyeshadow up to the brow bow as well as extend it outwards then choose a more a darker slightly darker pink eyeshadow and place that all over the eye, um, eyelid and then mix a lighter pink and a light brown color and place this on their inner part of your eyelids close to the side of your nose the bridge of your nose and then use a medium lilac color and mix that with a medium brown color and place that on the inner part of the eyelid even closer to the side of the bridge of your nose then going to a light brown eyeshadow and plate and blend that out with the darker color and the lighter pink and then use the same brush with a little bit of black eyeshadow and trace back to the first line and then blend it above and then use a clean blending brush you want to blend really well of all the shadows together just to blur out the edges and blend the colors together and then use a bigger fluffy um, blending brush you want to blend the outer edges of those eyeshadows now use a crease eyeshadow brush and dip into a mint green eyeshadow I placed that mint green eyeshadow all over my eyelid right underneath that cut crease line as well as above the lash line now use a purple eyeliner and I use a purple eyeliner on the bottom lash line after the purple eyeliner I went over that liner with the same shade of purple or lilac eyeshadow powder to set that liner and then just go back to those colors I used earlier and blending a little bit more just to soften the color and I groom my eyebrows simply by combing them with a eyebrow comb now I use a tight line liner brush and dip into that same black eyeshadow and I tight line my top liner this way the powder eyeshadow will make the look a little bit more softer instead of using a liquid eyeliner or an eyeliner pencil uh, next up I'm using this inner corner brush and just dipped into a highlighter shade this one I use as a matte um, beige kind of a beige ivory powder and I just highlight my inner corner as well as underneath the arches my 
arch of my brows and then I use a light concealer, under eye concealer um, just kind of clean away my under eye area by using the Sigma tapered um, precision taper brush Uh, I chose this foundation um, because I just bought it from Target and it was on clearance and never used it before so I want to, to try it out for this tutorial. I know it's a bit light for my complexion but please feel free to use your favorite foundation for this look. And then I use a matte bronzer to just contour uh, my face. Then I curl my lashes and then apply several coats of volumizing mascara on both top and lower lash lashes. Um, I'm using a matte mousse blush just to give it a softer um, flushed look. and. Then I top it off with a similar color powder brush just to set it. Um, I chose an eyeliner brush to apply lipstick because this eyeliner brush is super thin and very precise. It's almost like a lip brush but even thinner. So I use a kind of a blood orange type of lipstick. I first traced my lips with an eyeliner brush. Then I applied um, the same color straight from the tube to uh, the entire lips. Next I choose a darker deep burgundy type of red lipstick just to um, trace the outer uh, part of my lips to give the lips a little bit more depth. Then I finish it off with a shimmery pink um, liquid lipstick or you can use a lip gloss just on the center of the lips to give it uh, more volume and I trace the outer part of my lips with the same foundation to clean up um, the lips and this completes the look. Thanks for watching. Bye!